Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. Welcome to this little video talking about NVIDIA broadcast in OBS. So if you're like me, you're a big fan of OBS and you also like using NVIDIA broadcast, using it for controlling your, your camera, your audio, stuff like that. Now, if all you're concerned about is using the noise removal in your room, um, and you don't want to run the program, you just want to have OBS running, well, there's a way that you can. So first of all, you want to go ahead to OBS Studio, which is uh, well, the homepage, which is on obsproject.com. And then once you're on here, click on Forum. This is where I am. Uh, well, I'm, I'm in a sub uh, section up here. And then you scroll down here. Now, this is before I get any further in the video, not to waste your time. This is for Windows only. So this is only Windows. Not You can't do this on a Mac. I don't know um, if eventually it'll support a Mac, but at the moment, it's just Windows. So come down here to Development tab, uh, Test Builds, and then you want to come into here. Now, there's loads of cool features in here. I don't use a lot of this stuff uh, because I don't do uh, Twitch or YouTube streaming. So there's new stuff to do with the uh, transition uh, stingers for track map transitions. Um, there's also undo redo, which is cool. But there is this line. Direct integration of an NVIDIA broadcast removal on Windows. And I thought, ooh, this is good. So I saw Epochs Vox do a video on this, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to do a video on this and just show you just this one part because um, a lot of that other stuff is just over my head, but this is something that I will use. So what you want to do is you want to um, come to here, this bit here, click on that, and this will take you to the GitHub, and you want to download it. So you scroll all the way down until you can get to... Um, this which bit is it i think i downloaded um that one it doesn't really say what the difference between the full and the release is um i just got the full one because it's it's x64 for both of them i think it's just a difference between a compressed one and an uncompressed one so it's which one you want to handle so i i just downloaded the zip one um once you've got you've got that you also need to download some additional stuff now the i'll post the link to this below the way i found this stuff in the link was down here by wizard cm the uh, moderator so this is a, a link to this page nvidia broadcast download center now what you do is you come down here to audio effects you download this so i've got an rtx 3060 and um this is the well this is the link you, that you click so if you've got a uh, rtx 20 series you'll download that one 30 series download that one right once you've downloaded those you get then get these two files i'm not going to run these because i've already run it but you need to just run obs and install it uh then you run this nvidia you install that and now we can run obs Now, I did record this earlier, and I did actually forget that OBS, I mean, that I, my, my, my audio wasn't not through NVIDIA Broadcast, and uh, yeah, you can guess what happened when I turned it off. So, as you can see, I've not got it running at the moment, I've just got loads of junk running. Um, then you come down here to the microphone auxiliary, uh, click on the little cog, click on filters. Now, I've already got mine there, but... You just do this, you click plus, you do noise suppression. And by default, it's RNN noise on mine. So you just click it on that. It'll take a while to chip in. So there we go. So it's now running and then you can, it's it's simple. The only thing you have to alter is just the, uh, the suppression integrity amount. So you can just turn that up turn it down if you don't want it as harsh or turn it right up if you find that it's not uh, taking out as much as you'd like but then if you do find issues where it's like clipping or it's a bit too much you can lower it down a little bit and you can reset to defaults by that so 
default does actually change it back to the other thing as well so yeah that is it so i just thought i'd do a quick little video to show you something exciting that is coming into obs it's um as you can see for this at the moment it's not the final version so as it says here it's a test build it isn't the full release it may contain bugs or broken functionality they um they do recommend using the latest stable build um but if you're willing to test it let us know if you run into any issues so there's a good little thread on here where there's all people talking about uh how they're getting on with it uh so as you mentioned there uh, there is some bug in the uh lewis scripts um using the browser source but if you're like me and you just use this for recording your gameplay videos or your desktop you know this 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 just is just really good because uh it means there's like one less thing to use now i've not i've not tested it yet to see if it uses much more resources in obs because i know on nvidia broadcast it did used to use a chunk of resources so it's got to be interesting to see for my usage if it does actually have any impact um i've not noticed any impact so far I just need to sit down with Task Manager and have it running with and without and see what the difference is. But anyway, that is it for now. If you found this video helpful, then leave this a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any problems. Thank you all for watching. I'm Shirley Rocks and I will see you next time.